you give me like a good dude, like a stand up dude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. You I'm give with... me a good. Yeah, I jacked that. But you make drill music. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't want. I I make drill music. I'm happy you said that. But I'm not a drill rapper. I'm an artist. New York is what is lit right now in New York. It's drill for sure. Exactly. So I have to. I have to. No, that, I feel like that's where people go wrong. They don't try to fit in with the time. You have to move with time. If I'm going to just stay in one place, I'm going to be stuck on that treadmill going the same speed and not going nowhere. Mm. I want to run on the streets. Mm. I don't want to run on the treadmill all my life. So it's like, yo, bro, I got to compete. I'm saying I'm someone in the city, but I'm not competing with the younger What is Why not? But you don't feel like drill music put a, a specific target on your back? Yeah, I feel like that. But this one I say, 50 Cent was a drill rapper. He definitely went at his. Yes, he was talking to, I'm a gangster rapper. That's what I'd rather be put as. But they want to put me as drill because I rap on a certain production. I'm fine with saying I'm a gangster rapper because that just means I come from the streets. And that is the truth. Drill makes it sound like I'm fucking going to shoot someone right now. Drill. Just the word <laughs> makes you feel like Nigga, violence. The, the, the lyrics make yes, you feel like violence. 50 Cent. Everyone in the song. If I make you go play back. That old 50 years. Yes. yes. Get rich or die trying. Even before that. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yo, we got on point like OP in the building. OP. What's the word? Uh, yo, what's, how, how you feeling, brother? Good. Yo, first of all, um, I feel good about this. Facts, as you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, it's... genuine. You know? Facts, you can feel it, right? Yeah. It's cool. What's going on? How, like, what's, what's you, you pushing something right now? Let's get all that out the way. Uh, sh me and Rowdy Rebel is working on the tape together. Other than that, we got Fed Time out now mm. on From the Block. You see how I denied the that's some real shit. See how I denied Rowdy Rebel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. That. You did that. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Not doing that. Take well, you denied them till a further time. Yeah, yeah, facts, 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 facts. I'm As like, you should. Yeah, I'm like, nah, give my man his respect. I feel yeah, like you facts. deserve that though. Nah, good looking. Nah, yeah. no problem. It's crazy because again, I'm just getting introduced to you. Fact. And I'm doing my research and I'm like, wait. You had a song with Dirt. Fact. You had a song with uh Fetty. Facts. Fetty Wap. Facts. Uh you had a you had a song with Jim Jones, of course. Yeah, yeah, that's my boy. I'm like, who was this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? Some of them is really I right. Dirk is cool. I ain't gonna call him like my man. Some people is really my man's. Dirk is like, oh, he always show me love when he see me, but I ain't gonna make it. Pull your mic close a little bit. I ain't gonna make it seem like I got Dirk number. Nah, but Herb. Herb, Herb, GS9, uh, man, there's a couple. You rap. was in the studio when GS9 got booked, right? Yeah, yeah, I was there. I was there, I was there. You really plug. Yeah, 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 yeah. So before you go into the features and stuff like that, if we even go to that. Yeah, yeah. Because it's really about you. One thing that you said that I thought was super interesting was it's kind of, I don't know if you said it's kind of easy to, to pop in like the tri-state area, right? Yeah. But I'm thinking, I'm like, yo, everybody... Wants to pop in New York. I feel like if you pop in New York, you pop everywhere. Is that not true? Nah, that's not true. There's no way, because I'm thinking it's true. Talk to me why nah, not. that's not true. Because there's artists right now, I don't want to name them to make them to feel like them. I'm bashing them. But this artist right now that didn't surpass the tri-state border, like, it's just like, you could be pop, bro. You could get a million views. And Wait, them. now I'm curious. I block it out. Tell me, tell me Tom Stamp. Who you talking about? Huh? It's who you talking about? I block it out. I'll it's block. mad at them. It's mad at them. But what? I'll give you names. My don't tell me too many people. I'm just block out one. Okay. Because that's what. Who? I never heard of him though. Yeah, yeah, but he has. He's going crazy. He has millions of views, like more than one million. So that's millions of views. But what people don't seem to realize, yo, how much is Brooklyn's population? You tell me. A couple million, but again, it's ain't fair. I've been doing my research. Yeah, so it's exactly. Not, yeah. But Brooklyn population alone is two like 1.2 million mm. or almost 2 million. Bro, that's just Brooklyn. That's not even New York City. So most of your views could be coming from the city alone. 
But can you see how an outsider would think that if you pop in New York, you pop nah, pop and I do. global? Because y'all, y'all music. Because we're the mecca of music. Yeah, yeah so it makes sense. It makes and then y'all radio is number one across the world. Mm, but to feel like, yo, you know how this is the crazy thing. From New York, feel like if you pop in Atlanta, you really pop. But that's what y'all get. Yeah. I'm going to tell you why. That's how life works. <laughs> yeah. And that's not what we get. This is what the generation before us get. Whatever sh- they was popping. But it's like, it's just like that. I I, I feel like the only difference is, uh, the, the reason why Atlanta makes more money off of music than New York artists, they support their own artists. The clubs mm. support them. So you got clubs booking the artists just because he's lit in the city, so they want to support him. And then you got trappers that run the clubs or they promoters, and then they just putting up their money, trying to clean their money and give it to the rapper. Tell me if I'm wrong then, because hmm? I I just started like understanding this music. I've been doing this interview, Come on. not not for too long, like right, less than ten years. Yeah. So I'm kind of technically new. You ain't know. Technically, because I wasn't into the music. Before it, oh, I, I, you know what I'm yeah, saying. So, so like, if I was sense. into it, I'm yeah. really learning as I go. I say all yeah. that to say, yeah. when I was thinking about New York, I was thinking stay together, stick together, and things like that. And then I started to understand that, I mean, from the beginning, getting on from dissing people, yeah. So they couldn't have been sticking together. No, you have Atlanta come and they kind of do it the opposite way. They get on, yes, we're putting their n- on. Yep. Damn. Even they, you'll hear about fake beefs in Atlanta, but. It would never really surface. Mm. It's like you. I know you heard of some type of beefs within the artists in Atlanta, but you don't know if Not it's really. true. You don't know if it's true. All right. For instance, I'm gonna put this out. There was a rumor that Little Baby and them stripped off. Okay. Set. Okay. Oh exactly. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, we but that's st- like mainstream. Though. Yeah, but I'm just saying that still never stopped them from promoting each other, playing in the clubs. None of that. Sh- Even if there was something that did happen, it didn't stop. Them, them musically, period. Okay. But All and, around, other than they start dubbing it, like yo, I ain't fucking with that. Uh, no, no. I feel like it's easy to do that on a higher scale, though. Like a lot of y'all be beefing since, <laughs> you're like nah, young. You, uh, I the feel, music be, bro, y'all, niggas, and you can correct me if I'm wrong because yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, uh, of course, worldwide the yeah. beef can be inherited, right? Inherited yeah, yeah, beef, yeah. like you don't got nothing to do with it. It's just my my people, people, my people. Yep. I feel like y'all, like y'all make music, y'all, and I think you even talk about this, especially drill. And I'm gonna get into that. Yeah. It's like be dissing, they don't even know. Yeah. So now you got to diss back, kind of. Am I right? Am I got it wrong? Some people do feel like that. Everybody, everybody's not the same. Everybody mind don't operate the same. But you're definitely right. But in the, the ever we're in now, it's yo. You got to know all of these kids. That's why I be at least trying to talk somehow. They just want to do what's lit or what they see someone else doing. So they see someone dissing and they got views, so they want to do it. But it's like, y'all focused on the wrong thing. Y'all focused on the views, but that person don't got no money. Mm. So you need to focus on that. The person didn't even buy the beat. That's mad. It's just not even about buying the beat. person don't buy the beat. They don't own the YouTube channel. They don't do nothing. They're not making not a dollar. Mm. So it's like, you looking at them like they so lit and they're not. A lot of niggas think that when you get lit, that's when the money come though. Playing devil's advocate, I mean, yeah, yeah, it do, it, it could go like that though. But I could, right. I could start naming that is lit with views and have no money, and you could see it clear as day mm. that they don't know how to make money and they don't have no money. No. So it's like, bro, it's all on the people. Yeah, clout can bring you money, but you gotta learn how to use the leverage. It's like having a product and not knowing how to sell it. It's mm. like, bro, you just got a product. So let's get more into. You as an artist, right? For yeah. my audience that might not know, because I'm 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 familiar myself with you as well. You started off doing music. Uh, your brother got you into this, yeah, right? Um, scrap, scrap. Yeah, he booked or he he locked up. Okay, yeah. yeah. You asked my that you lost that was real close to you. Yeah, my best friend Bill's facts. So having all like this is how you start, right? Mm-hmm. Neither one of them is is with you right now, mm-hmm. right? And you still trying to find your way. How how has that process been? I feel like, man, everything is a learning process. I only got better since I got older. But I feel like nothing is easy. Sound cliche, but hey. But I lost my older brother. My older brother was really like, you know, like he wasn't my only old. He wasn't only my older brother. It was someone I was rolling with my friend. Mm. So it's like, man, I lost that. Then I lost, he was like my manager. So I had to be my own manager. Mm. I had to find my own connects. So it's like, I had to, I got to work on my own relationships. Because you got to know, sometimes he used to, like, I, I would have seen nothing in certain, sh- like, not to say that. In certain people, I would see nothing in them. Mm. And he would have to, he would be the one. But now it's just, I just like, I think for both of us. And then my friend Bills is like, I just noticed that when I lost him. It's like, 
You won't notice how much someone supports you until they're gone. It's like, yeah, bro, if I go on this page, every post is about me. Mm. And I never noticed how much he was my support system until I lost him because mm. I never had that again. I never had someone. And I, I don't even search for it no more, honestly. I just keep going. On the interview, you said, um, I guess it was like a rapid fire question. She was like, something that you will never forget. He was like, somebody, I lost somebody close. Mm -hmm. And it stood out to me because you ain't say the name. Yeah. Is that still hard? something hard to talk about to this day? Yeah, I don't like talking about it because I feel like, man, uh, my, my son, he was just a good guy. He was good. So it's whack when people say that, but it's just like he didn't deserve that. So it's like. Did he pass in the streets or? Yeah, he got shot. So it's just like, and that's just. This just rubbed me wrong. I always been with that. I wasn't with him that day. It's just just rubbed me wrong. So you know it's crazy because we talk. We ain't gonna bring it up. We talk off camera about some things. Yeah. But I would think, and this is what I don't, I be I be trying to understand about like that's doing that thing, right? Yeah. I e you what we talked about. Yeah. When that happens to somebody so close, it could do two things: bring you closer to the street side, or take you all the way away from it. Right yeah, for I me, I think it would. Me personally, it, I'm, I don't want to jinx yourself. I don't, I don't even want to go into, into that that, that lifestyle, right? Because fact. like I see what it is. It, it's, it's only going to lead me a couple places, it's right? Fact. I don't want that. Mm -hmm. But for the people, not saying you, right? For the people who do go f further into the streets, mm -hmm. could you explain why? I want because I don't understand why. I feel like it's just a everyone got a different way of grieving. So, so man, some people want to make people feel like pain, and they feel like that's the only way for them to feel better. That's the best I could say about it. But it's like, is it right? Maybe not. Is it wrong? Maybe not. Because, mm. man, it's, it, everybody die on different circumstances. You don't know what that person did to die or if they did anything. Mm. So it's like, man, I can't. Like, hey, man, it's a touchy situation. That's all I could say. I wish people didn't do it, but it's, man, you could should have, could have, would have. It's mm. a, that million things you could wish didn't happen. But it's like, man, you don't wish people die either. Mm. But death is another I guess, one. but not even like on some retaliation shit. Not even on that. Yeah. But just on some like, I don't see, if I lose somebody super close to me, right, I'm leaving the streets alone. Yeah, but that's, yeah, that's you. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying. I, I, I feel like, I understand I, I, why people don't leave the streets alone after they lose someone so close. Yeah. Uh, I feel like, uh, I don't know. That's a good question. It's like, I feel like, man, it's all you know. Some mm. people don't know nothing else. They don't know nothing else. It's like, what else are they going to go do? That's some people. Like you were saying earlier, just for example, like people in Compton, I had, they talk about it all day. Some of them people don't know about nothing but gangbanging, waking up to be a blood or a crypt. They don't mm. know nothing. That's so it's like, and it's the people really, it's just, it's hard for someone with a mindset of so much for themselves, like you, you have so much for yourself. You envision yourself to be somewhere. I feel like it's just crazy when you think of someone like, yo, you're not even thinking of nothing. You're thinking of this. Like you're thinking about going to the store and gang banging on someone else. That's all you know. There's some people that live to smoke a 3.5 every day, and I know them. They're in my hood right now, and they live day to day. They're not even thinking for next year, next month. They could get evicted next month. They're not even thinking about that. They're thinking about smoking some weed. Mm -hmm. so it's like, but even like, so it's funny because I, I guess I'm, I don't want to say I'm biased because I come from the hood. Like I yeah, like yeah. the projects. Like yeah. I know you might think I'm green, but I'm far from it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, the thing about it is I was surrounded by a bunch of n that sold drugs, n that was thugging, you know what I'm saying? Thought they was gang banging, because that was really doing shit, and I never wanted that. I'm like, bro, I'm bigger than all this shit. Nah, but you true to yourself that more people from the hood need to be like you. Because there's some that's trying to play the role of a gangster, but deep down inside they feel like you, and then when they go to jail because they thinking they will never happen, and that's when they become a Mm. And a snitch. And the only reason you labeled as a snitch is because you entered certain honors and codes when you entered the streets and gave <sighs> your loyalty. So as if you was a civilian, I would expect this out of you. Mm. But you acting and portraying to be a gangster, I expected you to hold it down. Be on gangster time. Yeah. So it's like if I if you came to me from rip and told me, no, bro, I'm not with that. And I I'm to blame for it. If I commit any crime around you and you tell on me. It's not mm -hmm. your fault. You kept it 100 with me. But someone that's portraying to be something they're not, it's just... They, they, they on man time, people. though, I feel like it's still your fault. It is. It is because you should know the company you keep. Not even the company you keep, though. Like, And this is why... Yeah. And this is a good conversation because yeah. when I was coming up, even still, on street time, if you're going to do something, you don't do it around nobody. 
You don't retaliate in the first week or the first month or a couple months, right? And I've never been no street nigga, but this yeah. is just this is what the older nigga t- told me. Yeah, you was around the right older n- Common sense is not common. The more you meet <laughs> people, <laughs> you're going to learn this. Common sense is not, not common. So common. Yeah, fact. That's dead ass the truth. You, you, you expect somebody to know something and they didn't. And it's till something happens, you be like, yo, boy, you ain't know not to say nothing or not to do this. No, bro, I never knew nothing. Oh, shit. I didn't even think I had to coach you. And that's nah, fact, it's crazy because that's how a lot of niggas is getting caught up. They, first of all, they, social media, we don't have to, have to talk about that. But it's like it's ca- catching themselves up nowadays. I feel like, you know what's the worst part? I, 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 no one, you should have never won a Cody. But you know what's the worst part? People always go against their gut feeling because I always say this to my friends and everyone. Bro, you know your friends better than anybody. No matter how much you think about someone, you chill with them enough, you know them. Mm. So it's just stop lying to yourself. If you th- if you know your friend is bad with money, he's bad with money. Don't try to go around it. He's bad with money. You know your friend is a whore. He's a whore. Any chance you get, he's a whore. It's just you gotta accept your friend. You know your friend's a liar. You can't believe nothing he said mm. unless someone else is there to confirm the story. <laughs> That's and a he's fact. a liar. It's not messed up, but it's the truth. Yes, it's the truth. You gotta accept your friends for who they are. And I learned to do that more and more because this would be some. I just know they lying and it's some. It's like so. Let's talk about. Is that play 50-50, right? Like, I say, yeah. like, I don't know. We ain't going to say. But yeah. if, 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 because if you know you got something good for yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Why are you one foot in and one foot out? Um, Some people, you know, it's the crazy thing on the outside looking in. You could see what someone got more than them sometimes. Mm. I mean, you could see where someone's going before they get there. Because you're on that inside line. Some people is in the car driving to nowhere. They don't know that they head into a destination where you look at you like, yo, you about to be at the top, bro. Because mm. I have people tell me that all the time. That's like, why I'm asking you. Yeah, this it be like that. <laughs> I have people tell me that all the time. Like, yo, bro, you right there. You right there. And it's like, yo, bro, I hear you. But this is what I've been doing. I've been working. I've been, it's nothing's changed. I probably enhanced, worked harder, did more shit. But it's like, yo, bro, I don't. I, and I feel like that, too. I don't want to put a time. I, I'm not one of them people. I don't want to. Uh, What is that? Like, um, I don't want to put. I don't got the word for it, but I don't want to, like, let myself down. I don't want to mm. put a date on some shit and I don't make the date. Mm. Like, that's just letting myself down. So it's like, I God got his course. If I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it. If I, and what I mean as make it as being a billboard artist, platinum selling all this like that. And if I'm not. I'm going to make money as a platinum selling artist. I'm independent. I'll drop a catalog that makes the same amount of money as someone that's just, it's just I may have to work harder. I might have to drop 10 tapes while that person dropped the one tape mm-hmm. and made my money. But it is what it is. It's different strokes for different You're folks. You're going to get there, though. Yeah, and I'm not stressing that. I'm not worried about that. And plus, I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket. Rap is not everything. Nah, rap is a revenue to create other well, I know, revenues. I, I, I know who you with, yeah. bro. So I know you. Yeah, so I know she like, puts you on some game, yeah. too, so I know it's going crazy. Yeah, and I feel <laughs> <laughs> like I had to, she only f***ed with me because I had this mindset before I met her. Mm. I feel like, yo, bro, this is only to get me to another stepping stone. It's like, oh, everything in life is a stepping stone. Mm. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money. And we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. Since we're since we here, right? Yeah. How is it now? Because like, again, I'm just getting familiar with you, right? Yeah. But doing my research, like you've been lit. Yeah. But I feel like the dynamic changed a little bit now because you're in a relationship. It's public. Yeah. And I feel like, I don't know, and I might be wrong, but when, when, when people are talking to you now, it's kind of like talking about both. It kind of like rebranded yourself. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah, it is. Because I've never been in a public relationship before, so it's like everything just happens with time and it's perfect. How was adjusting to that? I feel like I, I was. I feel like I'm ready for anything in life. That's the problem. So that's probably why it wasn't really a challenge because it's like, 
And I always premeditate everything. I don't mm. do anything just for free will. So it's like, man, I already think about that. Once I open this door, it's no closing it. Mm. So I know, like, my life is a book now. It's like anything I put out there. People want to know about my girl. People want to know about shit that makes her happy, shit that, like, I understand that, and I don't knock it. What's the biggest lesson you think you learned just by being in this open relationship, or not open relationship, this public relationship? Um, and traveling and everything like my, what, what did I learn? What's the what's the what do you think the the, the biggest main thing lesson? I learned is just more to life, mm. period, than the United States because people don't know that. Mm. It's sad to say, no nah, facts, but it's the world is fucking big. It's crazy because even <laughs> me, like what as ambitious as my mind was, right yeah. before I met my shorty, I just said all the time, like man, I don't really care about traveling. Yeah, I just said like I just want to work, 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 and part of me feel like I still want to grind because I'm trying to get it. I got a, a mission accomplished, but. Traveling really changes your mindset. Yes, nah, and it really leaves you with shit. It gives you. I'm. A, I'm. I. I always been like this. I like history. I like learning about things. So mm. it's like that's one of the main reasons I like traveling. I like learning about the places I go, because it's like no point in being there. I want to know what's the history, what these people been through. If it's and I want to feel like I could. I feel like everybody wants that though. A sense of relation. They want to relate to somebody. So it's like once you can relate to them, they struggle, you, you fuck with them more. So. That's a, bro, that's crazy you said that because that's the whole purpose of like this platform, right? Yeah. They make people feel relatable so they can mess with the people that, they, that I'm talking to, right? Yeah. And even and bigger than that, just to feel like that, bro, our story is similar. So it might give somebody an extra sense of hope. Yep. You know no, that's the whole point of it. And that's what I'll be feeling too because it's been wild. And it just enlightens you so much, bro. Like, bro, you feel like you're hustling so you really go. To yeah. a third world country. I can. I be telling people all the time, like, I mean, we talk about the hood Hustle, and niggas coming from the yeah. gut. Nigga, we ain't come from nothing. nothing. Like, we had water and shit. shit. We ain't had to walk, man. Yeah, hey, yeah. Them niggas really be killing their goats, raising their goats to kill their goats to feed themselves. Mm. It's like, they'll shave their goats, wear their goats, sheeps, whatever. It's like, yo, bro, them, yo, bro that, shit, that shit make you appreciate a lot. Bro, going back to the hood shit, you touched on something. And, like, not to highlight all negative, right? I always ask this question, like, what do you think the biggest lesson or misconception of the hood that you learned that wasn't true? Um, Something that you grew up on, you you thought that was life, but you grew up and found out that that really wasn't life. That really wasn't life? Yeah, I'm trying to think like that. I'll give an example. Maybe, maybe yeah. So for me, it was this... Uh, so I always say like, for me, it was this, this idea of not being a bitch, yeah. right? Like not letting nobody bitch me. Yeah. And like coming up, you couldn't say nothing wrong to me. You couldn't do it. Man, you like we used to have a little game. I was a kid, put a stick, if you knock your stick off at your mother and shit like that, you fight. Like little shit like that. And then I had to understand that like that's the dumbest shit ever. Cause what happened is anytime somebody said anything wrong to me, no matter what space I was in, I would act as if I was back home or as I was in the hood. Yeah. And that would put that would set me ten times that would that would put me ten steps behind. Yeah. Because now I'm fighting and I get kicked out of school. You know what I'm saying? I got a kid out of like two colleges. You know what I'm saying? So no, it's like, I relate to that. I, I thought, that's what I thought was life. And I'm like, bro, actually, not being a bitch is walking away from it. It might sound crazy, but I'm not going to jeopardize my life, put myself in a situation so I can't take care of my fa family. Uh -huh. So not being a bitch is actually, you know what? Cool, you got it. No, you're right. So I was wondering, like, what was your experience in the hood? That's something that you, that you thought was life? And it actually, like, man, that shit was dumb. Um... I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I feel like you put me on spot. I feel like I got so much shit that uh, just stick with me from being in the hood. But I'll just say this: um, everybody's not tough because they got a weapon. Mm. Uh, you learn that too, because you just think a nigga is the man because he got a pistol, and then the time come to use it, and nigga probably freeze up, drop the pistol, mm. and a nigga lose his life because they relied on someone else. So it's like I I learned in the hood, man. You can't you put the best person your life should be. In, uh, your life is in the best hands at your own hands. Facts. 100%. That's it. Don't rely on no one else. Don't matter how tough you think someone is. No matter how much they perceive, perceive to be a tough guy. Don't believe that. Oh, oh yeah. And this is another thing I learned. In oh, tough faces. I learned that. Mm. Uh, that's, that's one thing I learned. People look tough. That don't mean they are tough. Mm. Mm -hmm. now, a lot of people don't understand that. Someone could look like the biggest criminal in the world and he's a teddy bear. <laughs> Because you punch him one time and he would be a teddy bear. He wouldn't fight you back. That sometimes that should just be a scare tactic. It'd be some people, they use that as intimidation. They're not really trying to be about nothing. So you'll learn that too. You know what's funny? I, one of the things that I did learn that I, that was true was like we thought 
this like you know like the street culture the the street mentality the streets really teach you how to be a man a stand up man think about it right we talk about loyalty it's really keeping your word yes like talking about not snitching it's really being lo- like that's morals that's having morals. standing on something exactly that only means you stand for something Ex- that's all it is exactly so like, it means if i say if i if i'm gonna do something right it teaches it's, it's not about not snitching it's about accountability yes right so it's like if okay if i do something I'm owning up to I it. I own up to my shit. Like, even if, hypothetically, if I'm with it, like... If I'm with someone, I knew what they was doing, and I don't tell on them, I'm owning up to that because they didn't force me to come. Exactly. That's I gotta, why. I take responsibility but for my actions. Actions, yes, that and is. It, and it's crazy because we, we, the outside people look at it like, We're crazy. that's just some street stupid shit. shit. It's not that. It's just like, bro, even, like, if we men, real men, forget mm. real niggas, all that shit. Yeah. My goal, well, not not me, because again, I'm a civilian. But yeah. hypothetically, I don't know. Hopefully, let's say we're in a situation, because it's easy to say what you would do. It's easy to say what you would do even in a situation. Yeah. So I ain't gonna do that. Yeah. Hypothetically, two people, let's just say two people in a situation. They in a car, and I don't know, they get pulled out. There's a gun in the car, right? Yeah. The man thing to do is, if it's your gun, own up to your gun. Yeah. So the other person don't have to say it's his gun. Yes. I don't know who gun it is. Y'all yes. both can say that, but hopefully. Man time, you be like, it's mine. Yes. And that's, I feel like that's the streets, but I don't know. I just, maybe because I understand. Every I feel like, uh, but that's why I, I feel like, like what you were saying earlier, I'm happy to be a product of my environment because it comes with good and bad. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, you may be perceived as a bad or criminal, but I feel like I learned shit that people don't care to learn about. Mm-hmm. I have street smarts and whether they feel like it's used... It's of use. I know it's of use. Like, bro, that's certain common sense that I just know mm. from being in the streets. It's like, yo, bro, um, um, speak when being sp- spoken to, number one. I don't know if everyone feels like that, but that's number one. You don't jump into everyone's conversation. Mm. You watch your tone, how you talk to people. It's certain shit. And it, that's probably people learn that in their household. I learned that in the streets, too. Because mm. it's like you're just not going to roll any type of way in the streets. You can't do that. You can't do what you want in the streets. There's no way. One thing, one one of the biggest misconceptions about you that people don't know, or you people think, but it's not true. Um, I feel like um people think I'm just a hood nigga. I feel like some people feel like, or um I'm just connected and I don't know how to make use of what I got. I, feel I like can that. see that. Yeah, you I feel, definitely connected. Like, yeah. I would tell you that. I feel like people do that, but I feel like I'm not loud. I, I'm not loud. I'm loud when I rap and when I talk. But what I mean as in loud, I don't. I don't tell people my moves. I don't tell people what I got going on. People don't that I fuck with don't even know I was coming to Atlanta. Mm. So it's like, I, I feel like I'm preserved. I can see that. With certain shit. I can see that. And it, it took me to be an artist to start, stop being preserved. Like even interviews and shit, I used to try to avoid doing so much of them because I'm like, bro, I don't want people to know so much about me because I always thought one way. And it's like, bro, you can't, Bro, if I'm be, I'm not, I'm not being stuck in the streets. No, yeah, okay. I'm from the streets, but I'm not gonna be stuck in the I streets. I tell niggas all the time, I'm from the hood, but I'm not out of the hood. I'm yeah. not out of the hood. Like I'm from there. Yeah, but that but ain't, I'm not that, stuck there. Yeah, facts. Like, uh, Yo, it's crazy because going back to the uh, the first point you said, like people think you just hood. Yeah, I guess I can see that from your Instagram. But again, yeah. we just getting acquainted with each other, so I don't really know too much. But I feel like that's the difference though. When people meet me. People always fuck with me. Okay, but like, if you look at me from, I can see that. That's what people judge you from, though. Okay, but I don't blame it though. Okay, I don't. I I don't want everyone just trying to be my friend. I don't want that either. That makes sense. I don't want. I don't. I, I, that sounds cliche. I don't want to be the most likable person because that means I'm fake. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. If everyone fucking likes you, you're doing. You're fake. You're because you're trying to please everybody. You're not being yourself because you're trying to please everybody. That's mm. how I feel. It's like, bro, I, I'm. I feel like I'm genuine. I'm blunt, and that's what make people not like me. But if you don't like me for that, I'm fine with that. But you also from New York. We can't. Yeah. If niggas believe in zodiac signs, you could believe in motherfucking areas in the world. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a New York nigga is just a particular type of nigga. Even yeah. like me from Baltimore, a up north nigga. Is, you yep. know what I'm saying? So like, it's more straight to the punch. Yeah, I feel yeah, like. yeah, yeah. It, but I was gonna say, it's crazy because the one question that popped out, and I think I wrote it down. I'm 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 doing my research right, so I'm watching interviews, and you give me a nice individual. Not saying you pussy. That yeah. I hope I don't say it wrong. Yeah, yeah. You give me like a good dude, like a stand up dude. Oh yeah yeah yeah. No, no, you I'm give with... me a good nigga. Yeah, I jacked that. But you make drill music. Yeah. 
I don't understand. I don't want. I I make drill music. I'm happy you said that. But I'm not a drill rapper. I'm an artist. New York is what is lit right now in New York. It's drill for sure. Exactly. So I have to. I have to. No, that, I feel like that's where people go wrong. They don't try to fit in with the time. You have to move with time. If I'm going to just stay in one place, I'm going to be stuck on that treadmill going the same speed and not going nowhere. Mm. I want to run on the streets. Mm. I don't want to run on the treadmill all my life. So it's like, yo, bro, I got to compete. I'm saying I'm someone in the city, but I'm not competing with the younger niggas. What is, why not? But you don't feel like drill music put a, a specific target on your back? Yeah, I feel like that, but that's what I say. 50 Cent was a drill rapper. He definitely went at niggas' heads. Yes, he was talking to I'm a gangster rapper. That's what I'd rather be put as. But they want to put me as drill because I rap on a certain production. I'm fine with saying I'm a gangster rapper because that just means I come from the streets. And that is the truth. Drill makes it sound like I'm fucking going to shoot someone right now. Drill. Just the word <laughs> makes you feel Nigga, like the, violence. The, the lyrics make yes. you feel like violence. But 50 Cent. Everyone in song. If I make you go play back. That old 50 years. Yeah. Yes. Get rich or die trying. Even before that. Yeah. Yes. That's what I'm trying to show you. And I, that's the only reason I'm using him is because he's a platinum selling artist that's still on tour to this day with the same music. The mu and he, what up, blood? What up, cuz? And he's not a gangbanger, but he's using that to his advantage because he's from the hood. This is what he's seen. He's a product of his environment. Who He's an artist. That's like selling Picasso. He can't uh, paint. Uh, if he just seen the murder, no, don't write the murder. Don't ju what? I just seen it. This is what's in my brain. So yeah, I feel you, but I still feel like drill. Yeah, is, is too specific. It's like, yeah, it's, it's too specific. It's, like, yo, it's too come, graphic. It's like yeah, if you want to play, but yeah. it gets it, it, It's yeah. like a nigga walking outside. Like yeah, I'm that nigga. Play what you want. Somebody want to try you? Yeah, I feel like that's that's the persona that comes with drill, and I'm okay. I accept that. I'm not running from nothing. But what I'm saying, when you listen to all my music, that's not all you get from it. It's just like, yeah, the most streamed songs are probably that, the most aggressive. And I cannot I cannot choose what the people gravitate to. You know why I feel like those are the most streams? Because violence is in everyone's life, no matter what. Yeah. No matter if you're a civilian, you thought of committing violence. Mm. I don't care what you said. You thought about smacking someone, yeah. spitting on them, <laughs> punching them, <laughs> cursing them out. It's an act of violence. So that's why I like making the music, honestly, because I know it's an emotion everyone has. So it's like, bro, I'm making music for people. Mm. I'm making it for myself, too. It's therapy, but I'm making it for someone to relate to. Someone felt like this at one point. They just don't want to say it. You a smart nigga. Let me ask you this then. Yeah. Uh, this is random. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, like, I'm making music to invoke an emotion that everybody feel. Mm -hmm. But... We can't ignore his artists who make the music from experience. Yeah. And then we got the police who look at what they call it. The, and the use cop, it against the you. The rap cops. The yes. But that's, bro, you being an artist and you being in the streets, you should know how to differentiate the both. And if you don't, then that's what it is going to bring you down. And then, and then, bro, and why the fuck would you commit a crime and literally blatantly rap about it? If you is, you, you're stupid. That's just, I can't help you. I mm. can't help you. I can't help you. Paying a picture, saying things you heard of, or third, uh, third, speaking in third person, it's like, yeah, but you speaking in first person about real life events, then you're a goddamn fool. All right, let me ask you this then. Mm -hmm. Coming from the streets, making street music, mm -hmm. right? But then on Instagram, you just love a boy. You uh, traveling and shit with your girl. Gangsta that, needs love too, son. What you mean? Uh, Gangsters need uh, love too. But the, but you that, ain't here Friday. <laughs> Gangsters need love too, yeah, Chris. Thanks. But does like, that does that kind of like? Um, do you hear whispers of niggas talking shit like man? Bro, people gonna talk shit. If I that's the that's why little baby said the realest shit. He said I focus on the good more than the bad. Because mm. if I focus on the bad, I'm gonna crash out. Like why the fuck am I gonna focus on the niggas that's hating on me? When I see people in person and no one hates on me. Mm, no, one. Fact. no one. No one. Yeah. No one. So it's like, I'm going to focus you talking to me on the computer. If this shit didn't exist, if I was one of 50 Cent, I wouldn't even think I had haters. Because mm. all I get is love. So it's like, yeah, bro, I don't pay attention to that shit. And I feel like people going to say that regardless. I'm true to myself. I know I'm comfortable in my skin. You could call me a pussy because I'm loving and showing my girl affection. See if I'm pussy. <laughs> That's all I want. See if I'm pussy. Please do it. That's it. I'm not threatening nobody. But I know I'm, as a man, I, I consider me a man. I'm, Facts. I'm going to defend myself. Facts. No one's going to 
punch me and I'm going to look at him like, stop, stop. No, I'm a man. I'm going to fight back and do whatever I have to to defend myself. Mm. That's me. But everybody don't think like me. I know that. But so and I feel like it comes with time. I've been in the industry a long time. Like even if I wasn't the biggest artist, I've been in the rap game. So you got to learn how to take criticism. If you can't take criticism then you shouldn't be in no form of entertainment. Mm. Shouldn't, because people are going to criticize you regardless. People are criticizing Will Smith for right now, and he's been the greatest actor of our oh, life facts. since we grew up. So it's like, bro, I'm going to take it. I could take the bat. You talking about me loving my girl? Good. Some some, some bitches out here want wish they was my bitch. <laughs> Tell you that. Your bitch probably wish she was my bitch. Like, oh, my God, I love that man. He takes such good care of her. <laughs> Yo, you're crazy. Uh, so I, I, I know I'm doing good. And by the comments of the females, that's who really count because they buy everything. Fact. Y'all niggas don't buy nothing. <laughs> the girls, they love me because I'm doing right by her. So that's good. That's with a me. fact. That's, that's a good fact. with me. That's Yo, good. so question. I, I'm curious because, again, yeah. for the people that might not know, I might yeah. be an idiot for asking this. Yeah. 1090. Yes. I see it everywhere. Yeah. 1090 Jake. Yeah. Uh, yeah like, I'm happy you said that. Yeah. I, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's a difference. Yeah, no, nah, it is. 1090 Jake just tapped in with me. That's, that's why it's so crazy. And but um nah it is a difference. I'm 1090. This is 1090 Jake shit. I I'm a I'm I, I'm from the street, so I'm aware of it. 1090 Jake shit is from blood, and he just used the AKA from it. My shit is it's it's a term in blood, but no, this is 10 plus 90. It means to be 100, keep it 100 at all times. So it's like man. Uh, so no affiliation with 1090 Jake. Nah, I fuck with him though, so I don't want to say no affiliation. But no, he's not my 1090. No, he's okay. not the same shit. I'm 1090 Music Group. 1090 Jake is 1090 Jake. I don't even know if he got other people under his banner. Okay. I had other people under my banner as a music group though, but so like, yeah. But I, and then we got two different meanings. His shit, I can't say what it stands for because it's several different means in the street world. But my shit is to be 100, keep it 100. And I feel like, man, that's, that's a, it best represents me. It represents me and my brother that's locked up scrap. And uh, we the both we the two people that started it. So it made sense. This is just part of the question. You don't have to answer if you want. Mm -hmm. the, the, so if that is, hypothetically, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. If that's some street shit. Yeah. Is it street to out snitches? Is that like, because... Isn't that technically like something that you are labeling? Um, what? It's, so if you out in somebody, yeah. I look at that as a snitch. If you if, if you snitching, like you're telling on somebody, but you're not telling on them. You got to think about it. You exposing telling them. them is what, telling. Cops. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad. I apologize. I apologize. Yeah, thank you. But I'm saying if you are exposing somebody, yeah, I feel like that's where it's just like you just exposing them to the streets. So you want other people to know this. Uh, information I feel like you know, People like him Is needed Because you'll have people Trying to give off A perception of something They're not So well, it's like That's not I just Again it's not, what, it's not None of my business bro No I know Like It's like if you if but, Find out look, you get exposed That's on you Yeah but it's none of your business But he puts it out there For whether you want to Listen to it or not You don't have the mm. choice To click on it When you see Boston Richie is a snitch. I don't have, you don't yeah. have to click on that. No, you do not. <laughs> right. No. But you choose to right. because you want to know the depths of it. Because you hear him talking one way and now you hear another. And you want to put two and two because there's two sides of a story. And you're trying to be the one. And you're trying to see it like, oh, let me see this shit come together. Because ah, that don't make no sense. And I say that is needed. It is. Man. Hey, you got some. You got a really good perspective, bro. I'm yeah. like, well, I usually be challenging the shit out of niggas, but yeah. you, you put some shit together. Yeah, bro, that's how you supposed to. My nah. name is on point, so if I ain't on point, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. That's you knew bad. that was gonna come. Yeah, that's bad. This is bad. <laughs> Damn, nah, I feel like nah, but period. Nah, that's another tip I give to people. And bro, going into entertainment, you should have sense and know how to talk at least, mm. know how to carry yourself. If you don't, nah, uh, man, get media training. I never had that, but. I feel like media training is the worst. That's, it's going. It's, I feel like it's gonna hurt you. More Some than people need it though. Some people do too much drugs to where they don't even try to. All right. The whole point of this shit to me, and I'm just gonna say it, is to showcase my personality. Facts. Yeah. So I want people to like me for me, Facts. not only my music, but people. Everybody doesn't understand that. Mm. People don't understand the opportunity when it's presented to them. I know that too. Mm. I know this is an opportunity, so I'm going to take full advantage of it. Nah, fuck people with need to fuck with... It's cause that, that, all right, this is why I fuck with the baby. Because some people don't like his music, but you're going to like him as a performer. Or 
person, period. Fact. That's a fucking fact, bro. Because I that, personally, I fuck with yo. I'm not a big music fan anymore. Yes. But yo, yeah. take his family. Yeah. He always on man time. How could you not? Yes. And that's what I'm saying. So, it's, it, bro, some artists, this is another tip I'm going to give you artists. If you're not the best rapper, find a way to showcase your talent. So find a way to sell yourself. Mm. Not sell your soul, but sell yourself to a crowd of people. Sell your life. Like, yo, you go, if you go to the mall every day and cook the best meal of your life, show them that. Damn. You probably think no one cares about that, but there's a million food fanatics. If you're in the gym getting busy, homie, there's mad niggas in the gym every day, bro. This is game. They would love to see motivation. So it's little shit like that, bro. Same way how it's niggas in the street. There's niggas that love to see you shooting a mm. gun. Go to a shooting range and show them you can shoot. <laughs> yeah. Do shit like that. There's mad things you can do to keep people intrigued. You want some shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah you're on point. Yeah. yeah. Yo, this was good, bro. Yeah, bro. This shit was good, bro. Man, it got to benefit you, too. If it don't, then it makes no sense. <laughs> nah, it definitely makes yeah, sense, bro. Fact. I appreciate you. I guess nah. uh, for the niggas that don't know um, how to follow you. Oh, no, no. I, Talk wait, to wait, wait, wait. Talk I want to you me. to ask one question for my girl. 50-50, ask that. Oh, my God. She I didn't did know. She didn't, tell me. About she didn't tell me to ask it, but I want you to ask it. I because specifically I know said everyone, don't do it. Because I know she told you no. No, no, no. I specifically said in my mind. No, because I knew the perception. No, I know the perception. I Everything. I want to say it. All right, so for niggas that don't know, let's paint a picture. Yeah. So uh, me and his girl, Christiana Hurt, yeah. we did a, a podcast uh, maybe, what, two years ago now? A year and a half ago, something yeah, like that. Yeah, like a year. It, uh, the clip went viral. Um, we were talking about... We wasn't really talking about 50 We were talking about... Um, but she talked about it on other platforms. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 50, 50. Oh, yeah, and, and she went crazy about like 50-50. She went crazy about not dating a nigga if he don't have a gun. So basically, yeah. his girl is the troll of trolls. Like, she talk big shit, shit on niggas, right? Yeah. But she got a boyfriend. And this yes, is this nigga Yeah, is but this is what I... <laughs> This is what I gotta say about it. The 50 50 shit, I agree. It shouldn't be 50 50. Mm. I don't. If I was broke, probably came in broke, I don't even feel like it should be 50 50. Me being a man, no, that's that, why. Yeah. That's the only reason I feel like nothing should be 50 50. Because once it's 50 50, you feel like you're equal to me. Mm. And I'm supposed to be your dominant. I'm the man. So it's like, bro, we're paying half of the bills. You're gonna start talking back to me eventually. Mm. So it's like, I, when I, I, my situation, I always looked at it, even before I had it, she never had to talk to me into this. It's like, I always felt like it was 80-20. I would pay the rent because I'm the man of the household. Mm -hmm. You do girly things. You buy groceries and pay the light bill and the cable. I'm fine with that. That's 30% that I'm good with. Mm. But I'm the man. I control the house. I control, That's my position. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you some shit, real shit. Yeah, they still gonna talk back if you pay hundred. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but it's a difference. You'll notice it. All right, be the nigga doing fifty fifty. Now I think I let noticed. that bitch pay half of that rent. I, I think I she know. liable to bring a nigga there. I mean, nah. be like this is my best friend. No, 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 no. This is my best friend. Don't worry. Now I went fifty oh, fifty. My girl never did no shit like that. I went fifty fifty before. See, look. But what I will say is, I definitely, I definitely see a difference. Yeah. And she keeps saying she don't think. So I be telling that shit all the time. I see the difference. Yes, you see. The, and then they'll start trying to ask for more shit on the side. Right, y'all going half on the rent? She's probably making you pay for everything else now. You, just because y'all going to have groceries remember. on you this month, groceries and my hair. I need my <laughs> hair too. So yeah. right now, I take care of everything. Yeah. But what I will say is, I have no problem doing that too. But, I don't. But, but it's one, it's hard as shit out here. <laughs> it's circumstances. I mean, I, you guys big ass shit. I don't got no chain on, so I can say that. it's yeah, hard. Yeah, out here, you got a big ass bank account. <laughs> <laughs> that is hard out here. Yeah, I'm a rapper. Nah, this nah, is for nah. promotional use only. Uh, I do Fuck YouTube. That. If you know YouTube, YouTube is listen. Casanet, no. I'm a G. I yo. Casanet got the bag, so don't believe yeah, nothing yeah. Jay say. For sure, for sure. Don't believe what nothing. I, what I will say, what I will say is, Let me stop. honestly, respectfully, yeah. not even on no simp shit. It's still 50-50, bro. Because my girl take care of the crib. Like, yeah. I don't know when the last time I had to. Like, I don't have to wash dishes. I don't have to cook. I don't have to take. I don't really. I, I still choose to do it. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, so I still like, I, and I don't want to be. This super misogynistic nigga saying like that stuff don't matter, but that shit helps tremendously. No. Nah, like yeah. I don't have to this might sound crazy. Like I watched my daughter, I got a newborn, right? Yeah. But like she takes she handles like whatever, like I yeah. can do this, I can stay out late because she handles that. Business. That yeah. makes it e super easy for me. Yeah. So I cannot say it's I still think it's 50-50. 50-50. Yeah, because I still you, think it's 50-50. Because you're adding on 
it's only her. That's she why. She hold it. Nah, it's her though. That's her. What you mean? It's her. That's her as a person. Everyone's not doing that. Mm. That's what makes it 50-50. It's okay. what she's bringing also. Because okay. if you're just asking her to pay, what I'm asking of is what makes it not 50-50. When, yeah, I, I feel like my girl brings more. She doesn't feel like it because she's not looking. At, that's a that's a true, genuine relationship. Mm. She brings value to a relationship, period. Right. So that makes it 50-50. Okay. I learned off of her. Okay. She, I learned off of simple shit. But that's not what we're counting because that's all the genuine shit. The shit that is like that is in our face is the, is the bills. But even the, the bills, shit. I just I, but I, I used to think yeah. like that, like to keep yeah. it hundred. Like yeah. I used to look at it like that, and we used to have an argument about who was paying more, and that's what I didn't really like because like it would be just an argument about who paid. Like, bro, I don't want, listen. That's the one. That's I'm gonna tell y'all this. That's the one thing. It ain't even about acting different and talking back. All that shit. But I ain't about to have no argument about who paying more and shit like that. Like yeah. that's why I'll. Yeah. That's the one thing I'll say. Yeah, I'll take, just take care of the bills and what and some games. You gave a lot of game. Yeah. For the niggas out there, because these conversations and this is what I don't like. These conversations will drive a nigga insane who really don't have it. Yes. Right. Yes. Certain situations are different for everybody. Right. One, and I'm gonna give you some game too. Yes. If you're a young nigga, you got a chick. If not even if you're a young nigga, if shit just hard, shit be hard. Yeah. If you a, a nigga, right, and you and you wanna take care of your family, right. I'll say this. You get a spot that you can pay for, right? If she's not okay with it, then she had to put up the rest of what she want. So if, hypothetically, if you can afford $1,000 a month for rent, you going to get that spot for $1,000 a month. Now, if she don't like that and she want to add something else, then she will have to add on to that because that's on her. Yes. You pay for what you can pay for. A lot of times we had these conversations, and I was one of them young niggas, like, niggas see it. And they want to follow us. Yes, yeah, you. But that's what you gotta know too. You can't live outside your means, even for a girl, bro. For no one, you gotta stay true to yourself. I, my girl, know that. Yeah, you know, it's certain shit I'm not with. If nah, I but can't do easy, it. I can't do it. But niggas see you, right? Yeah, they see all. They see y'all going on crazy trips. Yeah, yeah. and they like, man, I, they, I they, want they, this. They unintentionally feel bad too. Like, man, I want want to do that for my girl. Not even I want this. I want to. I want any feel this. Right. This pressure. Again, I'm being totally transparent. I was one of them niggas, right? And I would go outside of my means to try to please my girl because I know she's looking at everybody else. And I just want to make sure niggas... Because I ain't, I don't got shit to prove. Yes. Like, I'm able to pay the, the bills now because I can. Yes. Right? And I yeah. want to. My man, you know what I'm saying? I want to take it. But if you can't, bro, it ain't no, I don't think there's nothing wrong with 50-50, bro. I no, don't. no, 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 no. I'm... No. Hell no. If I didn't <laughs> have it... Yeah. And that's what I had to do, yes. But me trying to keep the dominance... That I knew. But that don't have nothing to do with dominance. Yeah, but this is how I grew up. So this is how I feel. Okay. That's how I feel. Okay. I, feel I grew up with my dad. My dad, all the, all the kids, my brothers is not all my dad's and kids. And you grew up with your moms, man. You told yeah, me. Yeah, I know, but I'm about to tell you. Oh, I agree. My ahead. dad is not all of my, all my brothers aren't his kids. He would still come. When he comes, he takes care of everyone. Real nigga shit, yeah. He's a man of the house. For sure. Because he's still the man of the house when he walks in the house. If he's paying the bills in this house, he's going to take care of the people in the house. Mm. So it's like, it's just certain shit. I feel like that's from my upbringing. Some niggas got nigga. The pops is a piece of shit. Yeah, they won't pay a bill. They will live off of a woman, mm. and they don't feel no way. They pride won't be hurt. Yeah, I would be hurt to have a woman talking to me in but, a certain but no, way. But that's what I don't. Nah, see, yo, that's how my, I tell my girls like. But I feel like the statement you saying is true until you add the forget a girl talking to your way. Yes, respectfully, forget yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, right, forget that. Yes, I feel like a man. If you're not bringing nothing to the table, you your pride should be hurt. Like yes, you, yes. I feel like your pride should be hurt. I I just don't think it got nothing to do with a like. I, your I, girl I said this uh, before. I right, people everybody don't want to be used, but if you're not of use, you're, you're useless. useless. Facts. So it's it's like. I, Hundred no percent. So you, you got to bring something to the table. Facts. I don't give a fuck what it is. You can bring a water, a peanut, bring something. Nigga. I need something. Fact. And even if so you can't, like, if you don't have no bread, get your ass up. And you could clean. You I, that's yes. just me. I know a lot yes. of niggas don't be bro. I I'm just man. I'm not too prideful to play a position. Facts. So this, I feel like that's why I will be a good boss because I know how to be the janitor. I know how to be the fucking computer man. I know how to be everything. I'll play every position until I get to the top. Come on, man. Just so like man, I'm good. My man, OP yeah. came through with some game. Yeah, man, you got him. Man. Yeah, this shit was hard, bro. We gotta lock in more. Oh, oh yeah, I, yeah. I, like Anytime said, you want. I'm bro. glad we was able to lock in in the absence of your shorty because like oh, yeah, now yeah. we could build on our own. Yeah, yeah, nah. It's right, more shit. genuine, you know. You know, gotta keep it genuine. You know, some niggas get around their girl and they start talking different. Yeah. Yeah, it's talking I can't there. really relate, but I get yeah, it. no, no, but you got to judge someone off of that, and then meet them with the girl. <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah, let's see. You, you get by yourself, you get to talking big shit. Let me see. What's I'll be the same nigga. That's why she's scared. That's why she's she scared. scared. 
to be in the same room as me. Not to say she's scared, but man, she's just a woman. She she have respect for me. So you see all the big shit she talk. Not to say she, it just would be a little different. You understand? It's mm. like man, it's like I I don't want to be too outspoken around my man. Not to say I do. I don't beat women. I'm not into domestic violence. Cause I see y'all saying that shit too. I gotta address Wait, this. Wait, what? The shit when I pushed her in the pool. They're like, yo, that looked just so aggressive. I'm like, yo, bro, people is mad sensitive. First of all, she could swim. I can't swim. She just threw me, then I y'all should have felt bad. I'd have died. She was a lifeguard. <laughs> the, the pool, when I, when I threw her in the, and I didn't even throw her hard, bro. That's how I know. Bro, you can't please everybody. Yeah, nah. She she be arguing back with people in the comments. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I know I right. didn't hurt you. I had no bad intentions. And they just mad and went viral. That that that, that relationship. Public relationship is hard though. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah. Cause you're gonna have people that always gotta say something. Always. Always. But hey, you gotta have tough skin, man. Nah, facts. And they help with the music, some it can. Hey, yeah, it could, but hey man, that's not like I said, if it does, I thank y'all, but that's not what I'm in it for. Facts. My guy. Thank all you. point like OP, bro. This shit was hard, bro. My thank guy. You, bro. Thank Already, you, Jay. dog. J Hill. Yeah. Uh J Hill Podcast is a wrap. We out. <laughs>